It's out of my man Hannibal, Missouri this week. And I uh, went to a new YMCA that I'd never been to. Uh, swam and rode my bike there. Uh, I rode a uh, spinning bike there last night. It's pretty funny. Um, I, you have no idea how much you sweat on a bike. Uh, you know, I, I saw crystals that build up next to my eyes, you know, and the wind dries it. But on the exercise bike last night, I had this entire pool just around the bottom of the bike. And, oh, it was kind of gross, but it's just crazy how much you uh, evaporate over on a real bike versus on a training bike. So that's kind of gross. Of course it is, the car is telling me right now it's 102 degrees outside and uh, I would assume with the heat index it's probably a few more degrees than that uh, given the humidity. But this week uh, really starting to uh, hammer down on the swim training. Got to get my kicks better, got to get my uh, feet up uh, from dragging, uh, get more aerodynamic in the water. And, uh, and get my legs able to, to do the kicking for the for the full distance. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to a couple people that are doing their first Ironman, uh, or at least one person is doing his first Ironman this fall. Chief Fowler, it's pretty cool. Can't believe Conan talked you into doing that. Conan will be doing his second one, and uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully uh, they'll accomplish everything they want to. That's uh, that's really cool. And so they'll be at the Rev 3 uh, race that I did last fall and uh, on September 9th. So that's pretty cool. Hey, if there's others of you out there that are doing uh, doing triathlons, you know, share it with me. I know there's a lot of first timers that uh, follow my channel that have ones that are coming up. Let me know when those are, and, or if you've done them, how you do on them. And uh, feel free to, to share this site for people to come to, to you know, to see if they need to be inspired or motivated or pushed in any way. And, uh, and it's hard, you know, the triathlon community, a uh, very tight community, and especially the, the higher you go um, in skill set, they're really, they're really tight. I mean, all the pros know each other. And uh, I will. Smith, who's, who's my coach, a former pro triathlete, he brought me home an autographed uh, towel, Hunter Kemper, he's representing the United States in London um, in, in triathlon, and uh, he knows uh, Matty Reed very well, I uh, talked to him, and he was catching up with Craig Alexander at a race scene that I was at, but anyway, those are a whole bunch of names of some uh, really good, good racers, but you know, the point is when you enter triathlon, it's, it's a close community and uh, you want to be able to talk to people and refer to people and ask people questions. You know, I've had races uh, where I wish I would have just had a couple of tips uh, and that would have helped me a lot to get through it. Of course, there's tons of forums out there uh, to be able to help you. Beginnertriathlete.com uh, is an excellent one. Slowtwitch.com is another excellent one. Uh, although they have a tendency to, little be, to be a little bit more snobbish on slow twitch. Uh, but that's kind of funny. Uh, Athlinks.com will track your race scores and history. It's funny, I just discovered this and I went on there and they've got all the way back to my first triathlon. Every, every event I've ever done is on there. So I can see my progress over the past three and a half years. This is my fourth season doing triathlons. Uh, third full season, so that was kind of cool to be able to, to check that out and how I've progressed there. But um, I just want to encourage you guys, keep up the training, you know, stay hydrated in this heat, otherwise your appetite's going to get out of control or you may get headaches. Um, and, and just stick with it. I'm entering a four week maintenance block right now, uh, just keeping it you know, keeping my fitness level where it needs to be, and then I'm going to have a six-week intensive uh, leading up to Miami, and uh, really looking forward to that. And again, you know, it could be a crapshoot on the odds, but uh, hoping that that does it. And uh, if it doesn't, that's okay. I will strive to hit a new PR and lower my time, and we'll continue to to do that. 
I'm happy doing a sub five hour in a sub five hour half Ironman. That's not very many people do that. So anyway, from Hannibal, Missouri, from the heat down here, peace out.